Good evening, and welcome to another edition of MDreddy TV. Unfortunately, I've had to go back to my old <coughs> um, camcorder stroke mobile phone because uh, we've had some technical issues with the new equipment. But hopefully soon, I will be able to broadcast in higher quality than this. But for now, I would like to discuss to you discuss with you the decreasing situation with regards to the Western economic, the worldwide economic situation. It seems to me that the car industry is in dire straits at the moment because less pe fewer people are buying cars resulting in reduction in production, loss of jobs, We've heard this week and the last few weeks that Aston Martin, Jaguar, Land Rover have been severely affected by this downturn. Honda today has announced they're letting go of their Formula One operation because of costs. Um, we're hearing now that um, yeah, today the United States have had the largest drop in employment in over 30 years, over 35 years in fact, lost 533,000 jobs in that country. <clears throat> I mean this unfortunately is the beginning. And you have to ask yourself, is this whole crisis being engineered? I mean, ask yourself this question, is this all deliberate? Is there something behind all this? The downturn in the economy? The increase of repossessions or foreclosures of your home, people's homes? The constant anxiety and fears people feel with regards to the economy? I mean, you have to ask yourself some serious, serious questions. Who stands to gain? Who stands to gain from all this? I mean, I, I'm beginning to get very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed that there are people out there who want this to happen in order to gain more and to control the general population more. I am beginning to get very suspicious indeed. And my suspicion mainly comes upon a phrase that has been used for the last, what, nearly 20 years. First really heard, you know, in the early 1990s by George Herbert Walker Bush, something called the New World Order. The phrase has been bandied about by various politicians throughout those years. A phrase that I increasingly viewed with suspicion what this new world order is. Well, I tell you what I think it is. I think it is the destruction of democracy, the destruction of national identity, the possible destruction of <coughs> self dependent economies, the centralization and you know sort of centralization of you know, government bodies and things like that, the loss of individual liberties, the increasing dependence on a surveillance society through closed circuit television on our streets, and the possibility of increase of dependency on using your ID cards or something worse, you know, like microchipping your population and stuff. I mean, it's all coming to friction, and it seems to me that what is happening here, the people are going to lose their jobs. They have to become dependent on governments to bail them out. So that means they become more state dependent. If you want to see what evidence, what state dependency does, go to any council estate in Britain and you'll see it. You'll see what happens when we all become state dependent. We become weak. We become concerned about our own little world and avoid seeing the bigger picture 
And I believe that is exactly what your government wants. They don't want you seeing the bigger picture. They don't want to see the truth. Because I'm sorry to say this. In the next one to two years, you're going to see it happening. You're going to see a loss of freedoms. You're going to see a loss of liberties. You're going to see... You're going to lose control if you don't wake up. Wake up and see what the reality is. Now, I'm not going to go on about it now in this video, about certain things that I believe, but the thing is, and this is what I've got to say here, we are in danger of losing our what is left of our democracy. We are in very, very, very serious trouble. Because, look, look, you lose your job, then you could lose your home. Then you lost control of your own life, your own destiny, paying your way, etc. Then you become dependent on the state to bail you out. Then the state bails you out, but they, you're under their control. Seriously. You, you need to realize this, that you could be losing your own self-autonomy and your own self-determination if this new world order is allowed to go full circle that these politicians have been going on about for a very long time. I believe there's something more than this. I believe there's something rather sinister behind the scenes going on. The deliberate loss of freedoms, loss of liberties, endless wars, rumours of war, all controlled by a very small group of very greedy, nasty, evil people who need to be removed from any kind of power or influence in order to free us all, regardless of where we are, what race we are, what religion we are, what we look like, etc, etc. I will be going on and more about it in future Andretti TV broadcasts. Um, stay in touch, and I wish you all well. See ya!